Now let's think about the equation of a straight line. Here we've got a straight line and it goes through the point 0, 1. That's meant to be a 0, 1. And it's got gradient uh, 2. So one of the ways we can write this is y equals 2x plus 1. So the 2 tells us the gradient or the direction of the line and the 1, 0, 1, that's the y-intercept, that's the point on the line. There's an infinite number of ways of writing this equation. That's one way. Another way is to write 2y equals 4x plus 2. Another way would be to write uh, 3y minus 6x equals 3. Another way would be to write um, 1 million y minus 2 million x minus 1 million equals naught. There's an infinite number of ways of writing this line. There's one way that uh, you remember from year 9. Uh, we can write it in all these other ways. What we're going to be looking at in this video is the way of writing the equation of a line using vectors. But before we go on to that, let's think about what this equation does. y equals 2x plus 1 allows us to find the uh, coordinate of any point on the line. So if, for example, you know that x equals 0, you can plug that into this equation and you get y equals 1. If you know that x equals 0 0.25, plug that into the equation and you get y is 2 times 0 0.25 plus 1, that's 3 halves. If you knew that y was equal to 7, plug that into the equation, solve the equation, 2x plus 1 equals 7, x equals 3. So the equation allows us to find points on the line. So we can do the same using vectors, and what we're going to say is that to get a vector from the origin to the line, let's firstly get to the line, let's take the vector 0, 1, and then let's take multiples of the direction of the line, which is 1, 2. So let's just explain that. 0, 1 is a vector that takes, takes us from the origin to that line. So 0, 1 is a vector from there to there. It doesn't have to be 0, 1. It could be any of the other points on the line. I've just chosen 0, 1 as an example. So that's where 0, 1 comes from. 1, 2 is the direction of the line. Uh, my rather wonky straight line there. Uh, but the direction of the line to go from one point to another point on the line you go along 1 and up 2. From there to there, it's along 1, up 2. From here to here, along 1, up 2. So this is one equation that we could use for the line. But we don't have to have those. I could choose another point on the line. What's another point on this line? I want to go from the origin to this line. Let's go to this point here. That's minus 2, minus 3. So I could put in minus 2, minus 3. And then... The next uh, vector, before we had 1, 2, because 1, 2 takes us from one point to another point on the line. But let's choose to go from this point to this point. From there to there, that's along 3, and it's up 6. So this second vector could be 3, 6. So I have got an infinite number of vector equations of the line. So what's this thing lambda? The lambda is the parameter of the line, and the lambda can take any value. So the lambda can take any value. So let's take lambda equal to naught, for example. If lambda equals naught, I get r equals naught one. That's there. If lambda equals one, I get r equals naught one plus one lot of one two. So it's naught plus one, that's one and it's 1 plus 2, that's 3. 1, 3 is that point here on the line. I could take uh, lambda equal to minus 1. So if lambda equals minus 1, I get 0, 1 plus minus 1 minus 2. 0, 1 plus minus 1 minus 2, that's uh, minus 1 minus 1. That's this point here. So you can see that this vector equation is taking us uh, to points on the line. Different values of lambda give us different points. But if you remember previously I said that wasn't the only vector equation of the line. There's different equations to give us the same line. 
So I could choose to go to minus 2 minus 3 first. So I could choose, rather than go from here to naught one I want to go to there. And then I could take multiples of a different vector. Instead of simply going from uh, along 1 and up 2, I could go along 3 and up 6. So this would be 3, 6. So different values of mu are going to give us different points on the line. So if, for example, I take uh, mu equal to 0, then I get r equals 2 minus 2 minus 3 plus nothing. So that's minus 2 minus 3. Minus 2 minus 3 is there. If I take mu equal to 1, I get minus 2 minus 3 plus 3 is 6. So minus 2 plus 3, that's 1. Minus 3 plus uh, 6, that's 3. So I've got r equals 1, 3. That's here. So different values of mu give us the same points of the line. So this is the vector equation of a line. Minus 2 minus 3 takes us to the line. 3, 6 is a vector on the line. It's a bit like 3, 6 is the direction, or the, it's not really the gradient, but it's comparable to that. So 3, 6 is a vector on the line. From there to there, that's 3 along, 6 up. And minus 2 minus 3 is any point on the line. 